Okay, and welcome back to um, I am in Gaziantep, Turkey, uh, the southeast region of Turkey. Um, I just got here yesterday. Today I'm having uh, a little walk through the town, getting to know the area that I'm living in. I always like to do that when I first arrive in any new city. So here I am in Gaziantep. I'm at the bus station right now. I'm kind of walking around the blocks, um, enjoying the weather, beautiful weather here. Uh, fall weather, it's September, or October rather, so uh, just enough for a sweatshirt on, but the sun is really beating down today, so it's beautiful weather here. Um, my plan for today is to go visit uh, a few of the museums, and uh, I'm gonna go check out uh, what Gazantep has to offer as far as the museums. There's so much history here um, in Antep, or that's I think what the locals call it Antep it's popular um, but it is called Gazantep and so there's so much history here in this part of the city uh, and it seems kind of obvious it's the southeast part of Turkey so um, not only is it just on the outskirts of ancient Mesopotamia but uh, it was actually an intersection during the Silk Road period uh, the Silk Road comes right through here uh, so people have been inhabiting Gazantep um, before the prehistoric era so uh, it's a very old city with a lot of history so I think the obvious thing to do right off the get-go here is to to visit some of the museums now I've been trying to find this mosaic museum for a while now uh, Google Maps isn't working the greatest but I think I'm gonna be able to find it and that's where I'm on my way to right now so Let's go museum hunting as I talk a little bit more about uh, um, Gazantep and what I see the first day of being here so far. Okay, I found the museum. It is right there. The only problem is I have the train station with a big fence around it right here and a freeway uh, in between me and that. And I'm not sure exactly how to get over there. Um, I was hoping there would be some sort of tunnel it doesn't look like I can go this way, and I also hear music playing, so I don't want to go that way. Uh, but yeah, it's right there. There's the Mosaic Museum. I could see it. If only I could walk straight through it, it would be so much easier. Um, from what I understand, the Mosaic Museum is the largest... The largest uh, Mosaic Museum in, in all the world. So that's... I'm not... You know, I love going to museums. If you watch this channel, I go to museums quite a bit. Um, so mosaics usually have a lot of history behind them. So that's the reason I want to see this mosaic museum and it being the biggest one in the world and considering the proximity of where we are in the world that a lot of these things are probably really old. So yeah, I'm gonna try making my way over here right now and getting over there. Now it's just hoping Google Maps will give me a good route to get there. So let's go find this museum. That's a nice little park I'm in right now too.
Okay, I'm not sure if I'm taking the right route or not, but I did happen to see in the distance a little bit that there was some sort of um, walkway that goes over the highway. Unfortunately, I have to walk through this area, I believe, to get there. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is going to take me there or not. But, um, kind of in a, a sketchy area here. And I think I'm to the end of the road here. Man, I just walked that whole way here. Now I'm going to have to get down here somewhere. Now, I don't know if there's an unsafe part or a dangerous part of Gazantep. Um, I found that Turkey is relatively safe no matter where you go, but you know, obviously when you get into a big city, um, Gazantep's probably about the size of Chicago. So, you know, a little over 2 million people, almost two and a half million people. So, um, there's crime everywhere in cities that big. There's crime everywhere in every city. So um, you just have to be smart and stay in the right, right neighborhoods. Exactly the opposite of what I'm doing right now. So it just shows the dedication of my pursuit and my passion to see this mosaic museum. That until yesterday, I had absolutely no idea existed. So, we will get there one way or another. Now it's just trying to find, man, that's all that's in between us. That's it. I will get there. seems that Google Maps has failed me. Um, I'm getting a notification on Google Maps that says low accuracy and it's not bringing me in the right direction. <clears throat> now we're in a very loud part of the street. So um, basically I have no idea where I am anymore. I, I'm kind of following along the lines of <laughs> where I was earlier. Uh, the park was right up here, but... Um, so I'm just kind of walking parallel to that. But this has never happened to me before where Google Maps has completely failed me. Which is never good <laughs> walking through a big city, but... Um, we'll see what I can do, but as of right now, I have no idea where I am or even where I'm going at this point, so. Here goes. challenge defeated and that's getting to the opposite side or the other side rather so now it's just finding that museum over here I finally saw a sign for it 
and it, it shows traffic to go this way but the traffic is all going that way now I have this walking path ahead of me that I have to walk <sighs> You know, and you could be thinking to yourself, well, why don't you just flag down a cab? There's so many cabs here. And there are so many cabs here. It's just that I don't know what to say to them because unlike Izmir and Istanbul and um, the other cities that I've been to, there's not much English being spoken here. Uh, in the broken English is not very good either so um, and uh, mosaic museum isn't necessarily translated into Turkish very well either so I hope if I just keep going in the general direction I'll be able to find it but it's just having to walk through here I found, found a walkway along the highway, which is pretty much exactly what I needed. I'm getting closer to the staircase that I saw on the other side, which I was down there earlier. So things are looking up. Really, who needs Google Maps? Use your instincts and intuition. But I'm not there yet, so I might be just getting cocky. But I definitely know I'm getting closer to the museum. Ah, uh, one superlative that you can take away from just not using a map and getting yourself lost into a city somewhere is that uh, you get to see more of the city, the raw version of the city. And uh, that's exactly what I got to do there. I pretty much walked through like a, the industrial part of the city. <laughs> Most of the places that I have visited so far, um, people know you're a tourist, but they're used to tourists. Here, <laughs> you just get people staring at you. Uh, th there's not there's not any other white people here and I'm extremely white but we're on a really nice hill part of the city right now it's overlooking all of Gazantep and that way would be pretty much the city center that's where I'm staying beautiful uh, Turkish city as you can see classical Turkey here is all the mosques on the horizon there. But uh, yeah, as I'm walking along, especially in a part of a city like that, they're just kind of wondering like, the hell is Whitey doing here? I mean, I, nobody's treated me bad, of course. It's, tur <clears throat> it's turkey, everybody here is nice. It's just that they stare at you. You can feel all the eyes on you like, what are you lost? Yes. Yes, in fact, I am lost. <laughs> if only they could speak English to help me. But these are all of the, uh, the fun adventures of, of traveling, getting to figure things like this out. So this is the staircase I was looking for, trying to get to from the park earlier. Now we finally made it, so the museum really isn't too far. So let's go find it.
I finally, finally found it here. I made it. I made it without the help of Google Maps. So, we're here. Let's go check it out. Oh, that was a interesting museum. When you, you think about the world's largest mosaic museum, that kind of says a lot. Um, mosaics in itself are, are such a work of art um, that here, especially um, with uh, a lot of the Greek and the Roman heritage that they had here and a lot of the empires, that we're through here that's where a lot of this culture comes from in this area um so that was kind of the art form that was used for uh, those dynasties throughout the years so very interesting it's just um how much work goes into these things or they're, they're just so huge um some of them cover like the entire floor in the museum or half the floor in the museum and they're just like these tiny centimeter by centimeter cubes uh, making these huge mosaics obviously out of them uh, very interesting um, once again even if you're not into art or history it's just uh, incredible to be able to see once again I'm, I, why do I always go the wrong way uh, <laughs> it's, it's just incredible to see um, the craftsmanship and the worksmanship that goes into something like that it, it was definitely an impressive museum um, I'm glad I went. It was 40 Turkish Lira. So, around $5 to get in, US dollars. Money well spent. Uh, I think I spent about probably an hour, hour and a half inside just walking around, taking a lot of videos and pictures. So, now I just have to backtrack and, uh, find my way back to my hotel without the help of Google Maps of course I'm just gonna have to go basically on remembering for once which shouldn't be too hard but so just to finish up a little bit of what I was talking about today the visiting museums kind of getting lost on your way um, doing things like that is all part of the experience of travel and so today especially um, I got to see a little bit more of Gazantep that I probably wouldn't have been able to see before uh, just walking through the cities because generally when you walk through the city um, you're gonna stay on the busy streets you're gonna stay uh, where there's a lot of people um, where it looks like more of a happening street you know where the shops are um things like that but today i got to see the industrial side of gazantep um so that was interesting uh and it's just kind of a, a lesson to say you know i need to spend more time just not not going off or going off the beaten path rather of just kind of trying to figure out uh, a thing for yourself without using technology as I'm recording this with technology but 
you know, sometimes it's good maybe just not to use Google Map. We use that as a crutch sometimes. Rely on things like that. And maybe we shouldn't. Um, maybe it's all part of the experience just to get yourself lost and uh, figure things out for yourself. Uh, I know it was more of an adventure to me and you know, one thing you can look at it as is it's things like that that kind of build up your confidence a little bit. You get used to doing stuff like that. So, get used to doing things like that. And the more you get used to doing things like that, the more comfortable you're gonna be in certain situations because you might just end up in a certain situation where you don't have Google Maps or your phone dies or you lose your phone whatever the case may be and now you uh, have instilled a little bit more confidence in yourself walking over the stairway that I was mentioning before so you install a little bit more confidence in yourself so you become a little bit more comfortable in situations where um, you're just not giving yourself a panic attack, you know, in situations where um, you're in a moment where you're lost and you keep your composure because you know you've been in that situation before. So it's, it's all kind of like training yourself, they're life lessons. And I think that's what travel teaches you in general. I think you get kind of an anxiety a little bit when you're in another country it's a difference between when you visit big cities where a lot of people can still speak English and um, they can help you, you know, you know, just go over there and get in a cab and, and, and cab drivers will speak English. But when you're in an area like Gazantep where there's virtually zero English being spoken here and um, the words don't translate into Turkish the where, where you want to go, um, you find yourself in a bit of a pickle because nobody can really help you if you you can't translate things. Even when I was at my hotel to check in, my hotel, the receptionist, nobody spoke English. His helper, uh, there was two of them there, they didn't speak English. You rely on, you know, kind of hand gestures. Uh, Google Translate, again, I use quite a bit, but we rely on these technologies, but to sometimes forget about these technologies and try to, one, learn a little bit of the language when you visit, and two, just kind of learn how to do body language. Um, there was a few issues I had last night where my water wasn't on, um, where I needed some utensils, things like that, where I had no idea how to say them. But it's kind of getting out of your comfort zone. I think that's what traveling is all about. So I guess the moral of the story is what it taught me today in Gazantep is I got to see, I'll tell you, I'm walking along the freeway here. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me. <clears throat> but it's kind of just getting outside your comfort zone because when you do that, you get to see a different side of the city. And today I got to uh, see a different side of Gazantep for my uh, first full day here. So <coughs> if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. Uh, it wasn't too much of a video other than my first day here walking around trying to find the museum. Oh, man, telling you a little bit about Gazantep, but I'll be here for two weeks. I plan on filming a lot of videos and hopefully I can uh, visit some neighboring cities as well because like I mentioned earlier, we're at the, we're really at the border of Mesopotamia, so there's a lot of history to be seen here. So I hope I can bring you some more videos from neighboring cities and once again, thanks for watching and goodbye and see you soon from Gazantep, Turkey.